What's up, you guys? Andrew Roboto here, and welcome back to Five Nights at the Mr. Peabody and Sherman Show, where we'll be taking on night three in this video. So without further ado, we will take on night three. Okay, night three has Hobson active. Go to Cam 5, and like Christine, there is a button called Follow the Rules. Keep clicking it. If the number goes to zero, Hobson will disable the cameras. Alright, so... Alright, well, I came up with a strategy. I'm gonna... I came up with a strategy on how to do this. I'm gonna, um, like, I'm gonna press Con Christine down, then check below, and then, and then I will check on Hobson. So yeah, so this is the first time I have to recharge the numbers. This is the first time I have to like recharge something for two characters. Like, like I've never had to deal with two characters when they need to be recharged. All right. Hopefully this strategy works because this night's going to be a little more difficult because um, I have to recharge the numbers for both Christine and Hobson while checking for Mr. Peabody and Sherman down below. Of course, Hobbs is different than Christine. If it reaches zero, he'll disable the cameras, whereas Christine will jump scare you. And of course, like Christine, Hobson's number goes up to 20. Okay, Sherman was here. I had to... Um, Sherman was here. I had to just press this, the uh, the shot the fuse box. I right, checked the below. Calm Christine down. Okay. So by the looks of this night, this night is definitely a little more tricky. Like it's it's more tricky than nights one and two. In fact, this is actually the most night three. This is actually the most challenging night three I've ever had to play. Anyone down below? Nope. Okay. Of course, I gotta follow the rules or else Hobson will kill me. Alright, I just had to deal with Sherman. Alright, I gotta follow the rules for Hobson or else he will disable these cameras as my punishment. <laughs> I can see why it says follow the rules because Hobson definitely looks like he's a teacher. Who's gonna give us detention? Alright. Recharge. There's, there's Mr. Peabody. All right, got rid of him. All right, so we're dealing with Mr. Peabody right now. I mean, Mr. Peabody actually didn't show up in my office really much last night. Check for him and Sherman. Okay, good. Recharge Christine. I got a multitask with Christine and um, Hobbs, and that's why I have to like check them one at a time because I also have to check for Mr. Peabody and Sherman in my office. Ugh. This game, this this dealing with both Christine and Hobbs, and reminds me of Five Nights at Smudgers One because. When, because you have to deal with both, you have to close the mines on both Smudger and Scruffy. Alright, got rid of Mr. Peabody. And when you have to close two mines on Smudger and Scruffy, the piston power will drain real, like faster. And you'll have a hard time like beating the knight. Unless if you watch Big Trevi's um, walk through a finance of Smudger's 1. That will give you, he made the whole let's play because he gave a strategy for how to beat it and how to do knight 6 because... Nobody, to this day for Finance of Smudgers 1, nobody has ever beaten Night 6. I mean, I've never beaten it. In fact, Big Trevi is actually the only YouTuber who has beaten Night, three, night 6. Nobody else has. Okay, check. Oh. Jesus, Mr. What the heck? I just got jump scared back to back by Mr. Peabody and Sherman. What the heck? God. Alright, so this is going to be the hard part. Alright, so this is going to be the hard part with knife five, with, with knife three. I just, I have to constantly check below while dealing with Christian Hobbs. And so, this night may take me a couple tries. I'm not sure because it's going to be hard. From what I know, this night's going to be hard as hell. Alright, let's try again. I'm hoping we don't have any more issues. I don't know. We'll see. All 
All right, so I got to work really fast for this night. Because, I mean, I didn't react in time for Mr. Peabody and Sherman. Okay, I need to work really fast. You can tell Hobson's telling you to follow the rules because he has a rules book and he's a teacher. Ah, this, uh, Sherman, okay. Okay, I got rid of Sherman. I almost got killed by him. Alright. I ended up getting killed by Mr. PB and Sherman back to back, and I'm like, I don't know how that happened. That was crazy. So now I under okay. Now I understand what happens after if you if you still continue the game get jump scared. I don't know if it's a bug or anything, but um, Mr. Peabody just jump scared me and I pressed the fuse box and that got rid of him. Huh? I wonder why. Huh? I don't know. I mean, it's kind of interesting how I pressed the fuse box and I while getting jump scared and I still got rid of Mr. Peabody. All right. So we got a way to avoid death. Perfect. Yeah, and and they're and both him and Miss, both him and Sherman's jump scare sounds a lot is the same as Finance of Freddy's one. Okay, uh. Yeah, I had to turn down the volume at one point. Sorry about that because like the jump scares are in are really loud. All right, got rid of Mr. Peabody. Good. Recharge Christine. Now I got to recharge Hobson, which is really difficult because I have to deal with both of them at the same time, and it's going to be the same with night four, night five, and then night six. And unlimed tonight. It's gonna it's gonna be the same. God, I don't get why I feel characters that both have to recharge their numbers. Like that's just weird. Like I'm I'm like I'm like taking I'm taking risks here right now because I know I'm gonna get jump scared by Mr. Peabody and Sherman at one point. I don't know. I mean I'm taking I'm I'm already risking it right now. Okay, well, nice try, Ms. nice try, Mr. Peabody. You may have jump scared me, but I still got rid of you. You may have jump scared me, Mr. Peabody, but I still got rid of you once again with that with that fuse box. Ha! Can't stop me, Mr. Peabody and Sherman, because I can still stop you with that fuse box. In most fin in most FNAF fan games, same with Finance of Freddy's games, like when they jump scare you, like you can't do anything about it, like you just die right away. But in this game, you can just you can prevent yourself from dying from getting killed if you press the fuse box in time. Alright, so I got jump scared three times in this video so far. I got jump scared three times in this video. Okay. This is definitely by this is by far the hardest night three I've ever done. All right, we beat night three. All right, we got jump scared three times, but we still managed to beat this night. All right, and surprisingly, I got jump scared twice, and I was able to use the fuse box time. Okay, so let's see what we have next. All right. 
Okay, so we will be taking on knife four in the next video, which we have just unlocked. I just closed out the game just because I wanted to check to see, because I accidentally pressed on knife four. But anyways, I will end my video here. Thank you for watching, everyone. Please hit the like button. Also, comment and subscribe. I appreciate all the support you've given me, and I will see you in the next video. Goodbye.